Take your jacket off. This mid-state mom is on a mission to sit next to sis to make a change in Pennsylvania. I won't stand for it. I'm not going to sit around and do nothing about this. Gathering information. I think there's a really good reason. Going to forums. Right. Going to try to get your bill passed. And organizing rallies at the Capitol. But I know that they're going to be held accountable someday. And this little girl is why. Five-year-old Anna starts every day with the same routine. Okay, every morning Anna gets her meds. The list is long. And that includes, right now, Depakote. Powerful chemicals. Um, she was taking Lamotrigin, but now we weaned her off of that. She gets Celexa for anxiety. With long-lasting side effects. And this is why Anna needs them. Anna has epilepsy. Even on the medicine, she is still having seizures every day. And then she has them in clusters. Sometimes she has five, sometimes she has 45. And every seizure leaves more scar tissue on her brain, which means more memory loss. Anna's parents say their daughter is slipping away. She loved to sing, she loved to sing and dance. Now you ask her to sing a song and she just stares off into space. She can't remember the words. She can't remember her letters. Anna's parents want to trade in these chemicals for something they say is more natural. I think medical marijuana could help her. It's already helping children in states where it's legal. And some are four hours long. Charlotte Figgy is the first child in Colorado to be given medical marijuana to treat epileptic seizures. She went from seizing every day and unable to walk to this. Her mother came to Pennsylvania to share their story. We are a huge success story. It's 90, over 99% uh, seizure reduction and no pharmaceuticals any longer. She's not an isolated incident. We see this in hundreds of children. Josh Stanley is one of the men behind Charlotte's success story. He is one of six brothers who founded the Realm of Caring, a nonprofit group that helps get medical marijuana to children in need. They also developed this unique cannabis plant. This plant right here is called Charlotte's Web. Named after the first child to use it. It's unique because it's low in THC. That's the chemical that gets you high. We have bred a plant high in cannabidiol, or CBD, the non-psychoactive portion of the plant. So number one, these children are not getting high. There is no psychoactive effect. And they're also not smoking it. The medicine is given in an oil, syrup, or even pill form. And right now, this is not an option for kids in Pennsylvania. We have a bill that is being jointly introduced today. But that could be changing. For the first time, a bipartisan bill to legalize medical marijuana has been introduced at the Capitol. And parents across Pennsylvania Let me introduce Hannah. are asking lawmakers to give them a choice for their kids. We should not be forced to choose between whether or not our children live or our children die. I'm a father who simply wants that option for my son. Without the hope and possibility of treatment with medical marijuana, there will be no happy tomorrow. Our children don't go on break from epilepsy. Anna, Anna, you want to hold my hand? And the best thing you can do for her when she's going through this is just to let her know that you're here. You're supposed to take care of them and help them and make things better for them. And Right now, her hands are tied, and we can't give her what she needs, you know? They say they not only want a choice, but a chance to see the little girl they remember. And we just want to give her that chance. I think she deserves it. It's going to get passed. It's going to. I'm, I'm not going to stop fighting for it. It will happen. Would you say you love me too? Too? <laughs> Anna's parents tell us they will stay in Pennsylvania and fight for this bill to be passed. But other parents tell us they can no longer sit around and wait to see what happens inside the Capitol. They say their kids have simply run out of time, so they're taking matters into their own hands. So what exactly are they doing? We'll have their story coming up tomorrow. Working for you, I'm Kendra Nichols, ABC 27 News.
Did I think I'd be standing here today fighting for my daughter's life? No. I would have thought that we'd be getting ready for the holidays, writing letters to Santa, not letters to politicians pleading for our daughter's lives. These parents want a choice. They believe medical marijuana can stop their kids' seizures. Who are we to deny a better quality of life to children suffering from hundreds of seizures a day? For the first time in history, a bipartisan bill to legalize medical marijuana is at the Capitol. But but is that enough to move it forward? I don't think that it's something that anybody really thinks can get across the finish line in the next 12 months. Senate Bill 1182 has certainly generated more talk, but it's not sparking much action. It's an issue that uh, a few people care very passionately about. I do not think we're quite there. The bill is currently sitting in the Public Health and Welfare Committee. Senator Pat Vance is the chair. If I could see scientific studies that would show me that it actually does these things. Um, that's, but anecdotal things that one reads on the internet is not the way to go. Plus, they say, why fight when you already know what the outcome will be? The governor has already said he would veto any bill. I, I don't sense any flexibility there. Hey, open your eyes. Want to look and see? Hmm? And that is why some Pennsylvania parents uh, yeah. have decided it's time to move on. We flew out to Colorado just about three weeks ago. Amy Houck is now a Colorado resident where medical marijuana is legal and where children with seizures are already being treated and seeing results. Seeing that little boy smile again will make it all worth it. Five-year-old Cameron started having seizures when he was 11 months old. He used to be this happy baby. And after we started the seizure meds, we just watched him disappear. Cameron is on four anti-seizure medications. He also has a vagus nerve stimulator implanted in his body. It sends electric shocks to the brain to try and stop the seizures. But the seizures still happen every day. Unless you're going through it daily, you can't imagine what, it, what it's like. It's very frustrating from my perspective because in many cases, the current treatments are not sufficient to control their epilepsy. Dr. Tresher treats children like Cameron and says medical marijuana has shown some promise, but he is not that surprised. Marijuana was a medication. It was available through the U.S. dispensary. This was treated as a pharmaceutical until the 1930s. It was only in the 1930s that it became illegal in the United States as a drug. Uh, so there's ample precedence for using this treatment from many years ago. But there is a big difference. The medical marijuana given to children is low in THC. That's the psychoactive part of the plant. So the kids are not getting high. It's also given in an oil, syrup, or pill form. Would you like to have the option? Yes. I think it would be beneficial to have the option. I catch them staring at me sometimes with those big brown eyes that just they say I love you. But without that option in Pennsylvania, Colorado will soon be Cameron's new home. And that new home will also become a prison. We'll not legally be able to cross state lines once we start treatment with him. Which means no visits back to Pennsylvania to see family. And Cameron's dad is also staying behind so he can keep his job. His little body has been through more than any of us should ever have to experience. And I just. I want to give him peace. I want to give him a better quality of life. And if that's the only way we can do it, then we're gone. Cameron and his mom will move to Colorado in January, and Cameron will start treatment immediately. Now, there is some new developments we need to tell you about. Yesterday, the FDA gave a UK pharmaceutical company the go-ahead to start making medical marijuana, but it will be in limited distribution, and that will happen in 2014. Now, what that means for Pennsylvania is unclear right now. Working for you, I'm Kendra Nichols, ABC 27 News.